I'm here with sophomore quarterback Andy Bayless of the UNH football team. Andy, tell us what it's been like so far playing here at UNH. Uh, it's been quite an honor. I mean, stepping into the shoes of many past quarterbacks and um, many great quarterbacks. And it's been a real honor playing for Coach Mack and the Uni University of New Hampshire. And in my home state, it's been, it's been awesome. Any challenges so far this year being a sophomore starting quarterback? It's a great experience for you. Any challenges you've faced so far? Um, not really. It's, it's one thing we want to uphold that tradition of winning. And, um, I mean, it, obviously in the past we've done a great job being in the top 25 and also making the uh, playoffs every year. And um, that's a challenge that the team uh, has to hold it. And hopefully we'll keep fulfilling that challenge. The running game so far this season has been key for you guys and for your success. Is that something you've worked really hard on in practice with Coach Mack and the players? Uh, yes. Nico Stretti, Chris Sedian, and Jimmy Owens have been doing a phenomenal job carrying the ball. And our, our law offensive line, they can't do it much better. I mean, they open up the holes for them. And uh, Nico, Jimmy, uh, yeah, Jimmy and Chris do a phenomenal job getting the ball downfield. Big win this past weekend over Georgia State. Congratulations, you had a great game. Also a big win for Coach Mack with his 100th career win. Pretty awesome. What was the experience and the atmosphere like after the game with the team and, the, and Coach Mack? Um, well, when we came into the locker room, everyone, we were kind of chanting 100, 100, and uh, then we kind of threw Coach up on our, so I forget, don't know who it was, but they threw him up on our, their shoulders and we're kind of like jumping up and down. It was really exciting to see him and put a smile on his face. Yeah, big emotions for him, I'm sure, and the team as well. Oh, of course. It was, it's quite a feat. I mean, 100 wins is it's very impressive. Absolutely. What has it been like playing for him so far in your career here? Um, I've really enjoyed it. I mean, he always brings the energy everyone sees on the field and off the field. You can tell he's, he's a very emotional man. Yeah, great coaching staff here at UNH. Now, you're 4-2 and two so far with Richmond coming up this weekend, big weekend, homecoming weekend, always a fun time. Are you looking forward to playing Richmond? Oh, of course, and they're, they're a very good team. I mean, I guess one of their safeties is up for the um, – or is on the Buck Buchanan watch list which is very impressive, and um, they have very good defensive backs. And also, I guess they I haven't really seen them, but their offense is very good. So what are going to be some keys to beating them this weekend? Uh, just do what we do best, move the ball, and just play fast. And as, as you can see, it's been working out for us so far. And you'll have a great fan base here with homecoming. I'm sure all the families and friends will be here, packed arena, hopefully. Yep, um, I guess they're predicting some some of the fans are Big, big crowd coming, and uh, yeah, we've got a lot of friends and family coming. It should be really exciting. Good. Yeah, it's always exciting to play for homecoming weekend. What are your expectations for the rest of the season and goals for the team? Uh, hopefully we just keep winning. I mean, that's, that is the plan, and I think that's what we can do. We have a good schedule ahead of us, and I think we can win out. And off the field, what are some of your favorite parts here at UNH? Uh, well, we have the new place called the Cottages, and we've all got a place there. Um, there's about 20 football players in our little area and a couple non-athletes, which is always nice to bring us back to reality and be able to relax. Well, good luck this weekend to you, Andy. Thank right. you.